Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. In this video, we are going to talk about WordPress. Now WordPress is an amazing content management system and a lot of beginners, especially in the web developers and web design and all these fields, especially the web programmers, when they see the WordPress for the very first time, it is an overwhelming situation. And a lot of people think that, hey, if WordPress can do all the things and can install a website just within second, why even we are learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and PHP, and all such stuff. We can just use WordPress all the time, and that's it. No, it's not actually correct, and we're going to talk a little bit more about what WordPress actually is, and when is the right time to jump into WordPress. Now, before I get started and talk about the WordPress in itself, I would like to mention here that I have handled more than 80 or 90 clients in the WordPress and all those clients had a different demand. Some wanted to have an optimized uh, invoicing system, some wanted to have a kind of a built-in chat system in their uh, website, some wanted to have just a plain simple website with a contact form, some wanted to have a blog and all these complex systems like billing management system and some, some wanted to have kind of an appointment system. So yes, I have handled all such situation. And based on that, I want to give you some really good advice that when is the right time for the beginners uh, to get started into WordPress. First and foremost, what is WordPress? Now WordPress is a content management system also known as CMS and this is a beautiful thing. Now what happens in a CMS, you get an admin panel and you get a front end. Whenever the things are needed to be updated, you can simply go into your admin panel, can update your navigation bar or the content and just hit the publish or post and it's gonna be appearing on the front end side. Now this is so amazing and so good that when the first time beginners see that, hey, this is a WordPress, I can just click, click, click and install it. And that's it, it's done. It has shown me a basic template. I can just go into navigation bar, put an awesome menu, and I can simply design some images and all these things in there. And that's it, my website is ready. It becomes a very important question that beginner usually ask me that, hey, if WordPress is so awesome and so amazing thing are being said on the internet for WordPress, why on this God's green earth we are even learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and all these things when we can do all this stuff in WordPress? Now I will answer all of this, but first let's talk about the two types of WordPress. Yes, there are two types of WordPress. The first one is WordPress.com and the second one is WordPress.org. Now WordPress.com is for those people who are not on this channel. These, this is especially meant for those kinds of people who are just actress or actor or maybe a musician who just need a blog and that's it. They are not going to take down uh, any much detail in that. They just want a basic one page website and a contact form and that's it. No much big deal. Or maybe a writer who don't want to bother about uh, intuitive systems by a web designer and just want to write blog. But since you are on this channel, I don't expect this kind of thing for you because you are there to provide some solution for an in-depth problem uh, that is going to be taken up to you. So you, want, you are a programmer and WordPress.com is most of the time not for you because on the WordPress.com, you don't have much liberty. You have limited amount of templates and there is a limited amount of plugins that you can install and that's all it. You want more freedom, you want more liberty and that's why you jump on into WordPress.org. In the WordPress.org, you get much more freedom. A free compiled version of WordPress entire CMS thing is being given to you so that you can install it onto your server and that's it. You can install as many plugins as you wish. You can customize it however you need to be customized and all these things. But it doesn't also take care of your security anything because it's your own server. You have to manage everything on your own. Now this gives you a lot of creative freedom and this is kind of a situation where beginners usually fell up and they say, hey, I have just put my files onto server, hit the click, click next again, I agree and all these things and that's it my website was ready. So the website is ready. Where does the web developer jumps in? Now web developer jumps in when there is some unusual situation either in the WordPress installation or client needs some kind of extra feature in their website. Now obviously I think you do understand that nobody is going to pay you for WordPress installation. If he's going to pay you maybe it's just a five dollar or ten dollar and that's it. Nobody is going to pay you just for installation of WordPress. People pay you because you are solving a typical problem. Maybe you are adding a billing system into the existing website or some extra feature. Now, how you are going to code that feature? Most of the people will say, I'll just find a plugin. There are hundreds of situations where 
the specific plugin that you are looking up is not there or maybe you need to customize an existing plugin or maybe your client need the social icon at such a specific place that it's not even possible by any plugin there. Now at that particular situation your web development skills comes handy. If you know and you are aware of HTML, CSS, JavaScript and PHP, yes there is PHP involved quite a lot in WordPress, then only you are able to fulfill that client's request and that is why client pay you. The more typical the situation is going to be the more amount you're gonna get. As simple as it sounds. So this is really really super important that beginners who have no idea absolutely about HTML, CSS, JavaScript and PHP uh, should not be jumping directly into WordPress. Yes, it looks so amazing from the outside, but when you try to just dig up into files and explore the files, it becomes quite easily messy. And for the beginners, it's a nightmare. So for any beginner who has absolutely no idea about HTML, CSS, JavaScript and PHP, I would never recommend to get started with web developer. And especially if you are on this channel, that means you are quite interested in programming, getting started with the basics and build yourself a better programmer just by handling the mouse and just clicking here and there you don't become a better programmer you become a better programmer by simply writing some codes maybe editing some code but most of the time writing some code so you need to understand what the php is actually doing there how you can customize the css manually how you can remove some footers some nav bars or maybe how you can design some of the plugins as well so no no it's not for beginners okay Tesh, now we do understand what the wordpress is and when is the right time to jump into it. So what are your thoughts when actually a beginner should jump into WordPress? Now yes, I think this is a good question, great question in fact. I would recommend that anybody who is just having a front-end knowledge should rarely jump into the WordPress. And uh, I would say once you have completed your HTML, CSS, JavaScript and Bootstrap stuff, mostly the front-end part, then try to take some of the PHP course. Now, I do have a PHP course as well. The link is in the description as well as on the screen. But again, no uh, such hard feelings if you take PHP Learn from anywhere else as well. The point is you should be aware of the PHP as well. Now, with the PHP, I would recommend you to design a system which has an admin panel and should have a login system. The login system is kind of a compulsory here. Once you have a login system, after that design a system where user can write just like two or three lines and can hit a submit button. And that exact three or four lines should be available on the front end when you visit a website. User should be able to write a post, delete a post as well as edit and save a post. If you are able to design all this system on your own, this is the minimum requirement. Then I would say that yes, now you are ready to get started with WordPress. But again, this is the most minimum basic that I would say. The more you are going to explore the WordPress, I'm pretty sure once you have that amount of PHP knowledge, later on in the future you will be learning quite a lot and you will learn how you can customize the themes, customize uh, all of your plugins and everything. So yes, that's kind of a basic overview of WordPress and it, uh, I hope you have got the idea that is it good for beginners or not. Yes, it's good for beginners and no, it's not good for beginners. Again, I have tried to explain everything uh, that I could have explained for the WordPress. So on a whole story short, don't be disheartened when you see uh, your friend that hey i'm able to just click click and install wordpress and you are learning the html css all these boring stuff no the time will come up when the hard work what you have spent the time in all those front-end technology will come handy your friend who has no idea about the basics is going to stuck up somewhere and you are on this channel to become a better programmer and this advice will surely make you one i hope you have enjoyed this video so far and if you have liked this video make sure you give a thumbs up your thumbs up is actually an indication that I should be keep doing all these video stuff and you are enjoying the content here. Do hit that big red button that says subscribe and I'll surely catch you up in the next video.